this is our Striker helmet mounted display system. This is currently the most advanced airborne helmet mounted display flying in service today. It consists of a two part helmet system. You have an inner and outer shell. The inner shell is customizable to the pilot, so we're able to scan the pilot's heads and give them a conformal liner. This does several things. It means when it puts on the head, the center of gravity is perfectly balanced. They get a perfect fit rather than a generic adjustment fit from a normal aircrew helmet and everything is centered around their eye position. The inner shell can enter X to the outer shell, which contains all the electro-optics, and the two shells together give a level of head protection that would be provided by a normal helmet-mounted display, with the additional advantage of being able to eject out of an aircraft at 600 knots, and the whole device system protecting the pilot's eyes from wind blast, for the same actual overall weight as a normal aircrew helmet, coming in at only 1.9 kilograms. The outer helmet contains an optical head tracking system which has emitters built in the back of the helmet and camera systems in the cockpit which when the pilot's in the cockpit can very accurately work out what the pilot's doing, what head direction he's got and then orientate all the information towards the line of sight. The optical tracker is very high speed, very fast and unlike its metal counterparts it's not affected by metal in the cockpit therefore there's no need to do complex compact mapping it's also, there's no bore sighting required, so once the pilot just jumps in, everything lines up their eyes because the system's harmonised when it's installed and you can just get off and use the system straight away. It's a full binocular display system. In this case, this is a digital version using two LCD flat panels, one for each eye. And because you've got a binocular display and everything's the same in both eyes, you don't suffer my dominance problems. It's a very wide field view today, 40 by 30 degrees, with HD resolution imagery available. It's a blank canvas display. It's not limited by the number of symbols you can have. So you can quite literally take any information you have in your cockpit, turn it into a symbol set, which can be displayed onto the clear visor in front of the pilot's eyes, and that will be adjusted for where they look. Should you have a camera system available, that can also be fed up into the system and underlay behind the symbology on the visor. And anything that's steerable on the aircraft can be slaved to the pilot's head. So the pilot can slave a camera system and steer that with his head, radars, weapons, whatever they've got. The big advantage of having a helmet mounted display system is to attract his ability to use what we call conformal symbology. That is symbology that actually matches up exactly with objects in the real world. So that could be as simple as showing you where power cables are at low level very accurately so wherever you look you can see the cables and because it's been drawn in symbology even if you can't see them due to obscuration of cloud or fog you can still see where they are but more importantly anything being tracked on the aircraft from you looking down at your head down instruments trying to work out where those objects are it can place them in the helmet telling the pilot where to look so there's an aircraft around so there's one there there's one over there and that gives the pilot ability to engage without moving their aircraft traditionally you'd have to break off line your aircraft up with the HUD on the aggressor in this case it shows them what's being tracked so they can see the threat designate and fire and the weapon will drop off when the direction the helmet was looking thus reducing their engagement times and even in the limit mean they can carry on doing what they're doing and still defend themselves so it gives the pilots an overall very high level of capability which gets their eyes out the cockpit and those spend 90 percent of their time or more looking out the window concentrating situation awareness and putting all their energies into the mission at hand